Hey guys, this one says factor completely. And this completely is very important. It might be more than just one step. So first let's factor out the GCF, the greatest common factor for the two of them. But we can factor a two out of both of them. We can factor out an X out of both of them. And we can factor out a Y squared out of both of them. So now let's go after this first one. Two times what gives us two, that's one. X times what gives us X to the fourth, that's X cubed. And then Y squared times what gives us Y to the fifth, that's Y cubed. So this times this gives us this. And now 2xy squared times what gives us 2xy squared? Well, that's just one, because this matches this exactly. A lot of people might think we're done right now, but we can go further. This right here is a sum of cubes. a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. If this first term is a cubed, that would mean that a is equal to the cube root of this, which would just be xy. And then for the b, we wanna take the cube root of this one, because one is equal to b cubed, and that gives us one. So now we can just plug it right into this equation. So let's copy down the GCF, the two xy squared, and then this is gonna change into two parentheses. We put the a in the first spot, which is xy, and then we do plus b in the next spot, and b was one. And then for the a squared, we wanna square this, which would be x squared, y squared. We square each of the terms. And then minus a, b, so we're gonna minus these two things multiplied, which is just minus xy, and then plus b squared, but b squared is equal to one, because one squared is one. And this is the answer to the question we factored completely. How exciting.